children coming in. So any child that wants a better view or just wants to come up uh, to be close, come on all the way up here. You all are welcome up here if you'd like. All right, as long as we leave a little room in the middle for, uh, uh, for everybody to get by, we are fine. We are fine. Oh. To all of you guys. How's everything going? You ready for a baptism? All right. So is Hazel Grace. Did you see her right there? That's who we're going to baptize today. See that pretty bow in her hair? All right, so we are ready. And when we baptize, we welcome her into the church. Uh, and we also, we also remember... Uh, that this is God's beloved child, that God made her special, and that God is like a parent to all of us. Uh, today we're going to celebrate that God is like a parent to Hazel Gray. So are we ready? All right. So I ask you all, the candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. Uh, I present Hazel Gray Scott to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? Do you renounce, them. renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Now the affirmations. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. This is to all of you gathered here. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in her life in Christ? We will. Let us join with her who is committing herself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. Continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers. I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, with God's help. Let us now pray for this child who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open her heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill her with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her in the faith and the communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach her to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send her into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring her to fulfillment of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection. Look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. I invite the family to come forward.
Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give and thanks for grace. Thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised her to new life of grace. Sustain her, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. 